Hello everybody, this is Finding Duck, and I'm back with another Wi-Fi battle. I know I've been uploading a lot of Wi- uh, what's it called, multi-battles recently. Uh, this is, I think, the first one that I've uploaded since it. You will have to excuse me, because I've got a bad throat, and I've also got, um, some- I've got, like, an ulcer underneath my tongue, so sometimes I may pronounce words like this. No offence to anyone with a list, but it's seriously quite painful. Uh, but anyway, enough about me. Uh, this Wi-Fi battle was a while back. Uh, I haven't played Pokemon in ages. I've been really busy. Uh, I've got a, a few battles saved. I'm going to have to start playing it to get my stock back up. It was a really good battle, though, from what I remember. It was actually a very, very fun battle. Although, he may have used the Mega Lucario. I can't remember if so. Go, but I'm gonna go by the excuse it was before my Glucara got down. There we go, that's what I'm gonna do. But anyway, let's jump into the battle. Yeah, because he definitely did use Mega Lucari, actually, I remember now. But I'm gonna leave straight off with my Smeagol. I have got to do team body analysis, oh well. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave straight off with my Smeagol as he leads with his Tyranitar, which is a fair, fair bit. He's gonna get put to sleep, but. At the same time, it will break my sash to sand. So I'm just going to straight off the bat and put him to sleep. As then he stays asleep. He stays asleep. And I'm going to go straight for the self rocks here. Because judging by his team, he had a Talon Flame, a Dragon Knight, and a Heracross. So my stealth rocks seem to be the best sort of idea. As then he goes to the Stone Edge. And my soul gets wrecked. So that's Pierre. Pierre down. Pierre. As then I'm going to go into my town growth. Uh, because I'm fairly confident that I can live whatever this thing wants to do. As I'm going to go straight for the sleep power, I believe. That's my play. I do remember that I have two things that put the things to sleep on this team. But uh, I never actually realised it until now. But uh, yeah, so the sleep power is going to miss. Both going to be taking that damage with sand, which isn't the best. But my left is neutral at L, which is okay. Fearing the Mega Horn here, I go into, as I said, guys, I have this battle a while ago. I go into my Kumagachi, because I'm physical, and if he did go for anything that could be considered hurting, I could quite as well just activate my weakness policy. Still the same, but it does actually reveal to me that he's Life Orb instead of the Choice Scarf set. So I'm just going to go for King's Shield here, scouting out any super effective move he could have as he goes to the bulk up. And this one, I was thinking, yeah, that's not very good. Because uh, if he does carry the Earthquake, then yeah. But I imagine he's probably thinking that I'm Sacred Sword Shadow Sneak set with maybe Awesomeize or Sword Stance, but I'm at, as you guys know, I'm especially offensive. Well, I'm a bit of a mix set, but yeah, my strongest move is a special move. And I'm just going to go straight for the Shadow Ball, and that's going to wreck his life. Uh, I don't think Crit particularly mattered. Heracross isn't particularly bulky, and my Kumagachi is quite strong, quite nature, with mixed EVs and special attack and attack. As he's then going to bring in the Whimsicott, and I was fearing the Paralysis, paralysis Powder. Yep, the Paralysis Powder. The para, the Paralysis Powder. The Stun... What? It's... Ugh. I haven't made my own ages. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore, guys. <laughs> As I'm just going to go into my Tentacruel, because I, I win Star Wars with, and with Whimsicott all the time, because... I ha do have Liquid Ooze, so he do he can't get held back on me. As I'm then just going to go for the Toxic, as he brings in the Steel type, as he Mega Emerald. So yeah, excuse was this was before Mega Lucario got banned. Just so you guys know, so he brings Mega Lucario in as he goes to the Nasty Plot. I'm just going to go for the Skull here because I was like, this is perfect. I'd rather have no one else particularly in at the moment. And I'm just going to go for Skull, and he's going to get burnt. Now that's got did a lot of damage. Mega Lucario has like no bulk at all. Other than that, he doesn't invest any bulk. He's going to go for the Dark Pulse, which is going to do a fair amount of damage. It's going to flinch me as well. Uh, which is mildly annoying, those para flinches, intentionally. Now, he made a weird play here. He switched out. I really don't understand why. He could have potentially tried to get the flinch out again, or just do a fair amount of damage before this thing comes in. Breaks its multi scale. Then gets the chance of getting burned. Maybe it was Lumberry and he's going to say, but still, I just don't really see it as a 
good play, in my opinion. Just kind of, you know, yeah, I just didn't, and then he goes to the Dragon Rush, which again was, I know Dragon Rush is common, fair enough, it's a strong Dragon type move, but I just don't like, I really don't like stuff like Fire Blast, Hydro Pump, unless it's like a really good move to put on that Pokemon, it's kind of like, mm, it comes down to the sort of situation where you can be put in, uh, sort of, you know, you're in that situation one on one, you can win it, but then you miss your freaking move, and you're just kind of like, yeah. But anyway, uh, so I'm gonna switch into my Sangrove Take Dragon Rush, and he takes it moderately well. Then do half, so I know I at least can put this into where it's already toxic. What am I talking about? So I knew I could knock something off. And I don't know if he particularly wants to. No, but I, oh yeah, he actually does me. He has the Fire Punch here, which isn't like uncommon, but it did about the same much as Dragon Rush, as I'm just gonna go straight for the knock off. And that's going to do a fair amount of damage, as he actually reveals the wide lens, which, fair enough, you're going to run that with Dragon Rush. That's fair enough, but you still missed your first one, so, yeah. As he's going to just die off the toxic damage, so that's a huge threat out of the way already. Sorry guys, I'm going to have to pause now and then, because my throat is seriously killing me. As he's then going to bring in the Talonflame, who I knew, I, I pretty much knew he was going to roost. So I was kind of like, because every time on flame does this, it was, I imagine he was predicting the switch, but I'm just going to go straight for Sleep Powder. And I miss it, and I'm like, no! No, because that would have been a really good play. As then he goes to the Brave Bird, and my sound growth gets destroyed. And that made me sad. Poor, poor time growth. So, Tangrowth is going to go down. You know, I originally named my Tangrowth Pimp Slap, but the name got rejected, and I realised you have to do the I with a 1. Out of the way, like, freaking, what was the... Scrotum doesn't get rejected, but Pimp, but pimp does. It's kind of like, eh. Neither does Japanese swear words or in English. But, yeah, so I'm going to bring in my Kumagachi here as he goes up and sets up the sword dance. But, predicting my King Shield, but I predict that and go straight for the Shadow Ball. Because I know he, it was fairly obvious, to, to be fair. Uh, so he's just going to become that help with uh, that, whatever he does, as I'm then going to go into shield form. Because I was thinking now he was probably going to go for the flare bits. As no, he actually goes for the roof, so I actually over predict there a bit, and he predicts me. This was a bit, I remember this was a bit of a predicting battle at the point, like me predicting stuff, him predicting stuff, everyone predicting, you're predicting me, my cat is freaking predicting, everyone's blah blah blah, blah. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. But he goes for the fire blast, fi flare blitz, as that's gonna hurt. Yeah, I couldn't make out doesn't like fire blasts. Fire blasts, Bla blast, blasts, fire blasts. As this town of flame has now become a threat, but uh, I was thinking my lightning can take one brave bird, and I I, I was thinking maybe I had a speed town of flame. As he then brings in the whims of cop, I am a life orb, uh, life orb Jolteon, so he's not gonna take it that well. And also, whims of Cop's bulk is definitely more in its. Uh, defense, but again, fearing the stun spore, I'm going to go straight into my tentacle, because anything wants to, I win, I win the stall war with Wimbledon's Pot any day. My tentacle is, my, I know some people run fast tentacle, just get rid of rocks, but I think it works out really well as a special defensive wall, actually. It's good bulk, a good coverage of moves, it can burn, poison, set up hazards, spin. It, it, it's not like and fair enough, electric attacks do kind of threaten it, but and pretty much most electric attacks are special, but I still think it has the bulk to back it up. As he's going to bring back in Lucaro, who's going to Dark Pulse me, do absolutely nothing in Dice Wars spells. So as I said, I don't see the point in him switching, he might as well have done more damage with the last Dark Pulse and just come in later and die. Maybe he was saving him from Death Water, which is fair enough. But, he really need fair enough, he might need his Wimsic to do something, but at the same time, it's like, my tentacle is completely blocking him, and he needs to get rid of my tentacle before his wonder cop needs to do something. As he actually does now, because I had nothing really to take this. So he's going to earthquake me, and I'm going to die. So, <laughs> before I just completely said trying to sound smart, completely just got contradicted. 
as I'm then going to go into my lightning who's going to vault switch because I was thinking he's going to predict me he's going to predict me just to go for like maybe thinking that I had focus well don't know Jolteon had focus well as I can then go into my Charizard who is flying at the moment as he goes to the earthquake and then I can Mega Evolve because he'll go for the Stone Edge and I'll be two times weak to it because this is my Mega Charizard X because I think the S1 looks cool, although the Y does have better wife I can't in my opinion, so I'm just going to go straight for Dragon Claw, which is almost going to kill it as he goes for the Stone Edge, and that's going to wreck my soul. So my whole big plan failed, as I'm then going to go back into my Jolteon. And as I said, this was like a really freaking on edge wife I battle to it came down so close. I think Jolteon is my last Pokemon left at this point as he brings in the Whimsicott. He's going to get Thunder Bolted. But after Rocks, it's not going to be able to live it. So again, not, not the best play in my opinion. He probably should have just saved this Tyranitar for later. He, well, I mean, he probably should have just kept this Tyranitar in. Because that would have meant that he's... Because I think he like dies to Rocks on this point anyway. As he brings in the Talon Flame, and it basically came down to whether I can live a Brave Bird from the health that I'm on. And it turns out Jolteon is, I can't remember, is it mightily bulky or not bulky? It is mightily bulky because it can take it. So I'm just going to go straight for the Thunderbolt. And that's going to wreck this thing's life. And also, at this point, I was thinking again that, like, because I just take damage from that, and I take. And luckily the sand ended this turn, I was like, yes, 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 I may not die, as then he brings the Tyranitar and dies to rocks, and I was like, yay. Because I don't, I think, I think I get the win if I kill him, then die to life or damage, because he died first. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. You guys may need to correct me on that. I don't go to many tournaments or that sort of thing, but anyway, it was a good battle. I will point out a couple of flaws in his team now, just because, kind of, I forgot to do team greedy. Right, look at his team. So, what has he got? He's got a Heracross, which is hits him neutral. Rocks hit him neutral. Whimscott neutral. Tan Tyranitar neutral. Uh, Town Flame is four times weak to it, and Dragon Time Dragonite is two times weak to it. Where is the spinner? Where is the spinner? I think spinners, personally, should be compulsory in pretty much any team. I always put a spinner on my team, and the only time I wouldn't is if my team was all my team members were highly resilient. Fair enough, if you don't have it, if all your members, say, if it hits neutral against all your members, but don't put a freaking talent flame in your team and don't have a spinner. Just don't do it. Or a Dragonite, it's just really... Dragonite needs its multi-scale to do work, in my opinion, and if you get rid of that, yeah... But anyway, it was a fun Wi-Fi battle. It came down to the wide. Despite me pointing out flaws in this thing, he did give me a very good run for my money. Uh, so, <laughs> don't listen to me, guys. I'm the Pokemon noob, and I'm out. <laughs>